Welcome to the Money Watch Show. It's Thursday, October 3rd, and we are here trying to help you make sense of what's going on in your real life and how those real life choices that you are making have financial implications. We is me. I am your host, Jill Schlesinger, CBS News Business Analyst, Certified Financial Planner. He is Mark Talercio, also a Certified Financial Planner. So, Mark, I, I feel like we should really be much more focused on, on people like, hey, all the choices you make in your real life actually have financial implications as opposed to saying it's a financial show. It is a financial show, but we'll talk about anything pretty much, right? <laughs> what do you want to talk about? I don't know. Like the, the, I, how it's the, uh, it is right now is like the best time of year, early October. In the uh, October, I would say um, October 1st to December 31st is like my favorite. These are my favorite three months. Yep, this is the best. This is, the, the, so this good. is the absolute best three months of the year. At least here in the Northeast. It's going to be a very interesting uh, last three months of the year. That's for sure. Oof, interesting. Also exhausting. You know, it is true that these holidays do have such, um, they have weight, you know, and uh, so I get it. And uh, if you're feeling anxiety about that, come talk to us. We'll we'll take your anxiety off. We're just going to do that. And also, Mark, you know what um, the end of October will bring for me? The end of my wedding bonanza of 2024. Are, are there any on tap for 2025? Do we know yet? I want everyone in my family to stop getting married. I don't want you to get divorced, but I do not want any more. I don't think so. I don't have anything that I know about right now. The I have, um, you know, my nephew, he doesn't listen to the show, so I can out him. I have a feeling that he is going to propose, but I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means 25 or 26. I'm not mm. sure. What's your big, uh, I think I know the answer. What's your big trip next year? Are you doing India next year? India, India, Thanksgiving of next you. year. I'm going two weeks. When? See you suckers. Thanksgiving, the two weeks, Thanksgiving, and then the week after. <laughs> and uh, I hope I get back. I am doing it while I can still actually do it, my friends. And uh, I'm excited. Um, that reminds me, I have to call my travel agent and be like, hey, what's up? American Express told me I have hundreds of thousands of American Express points. And so I'm going to be using that on my tickets. I'm very yeah, excited. Yeah, Amanda for that. has the same thing hundreds of thousands of miles and uh, and no place to go. Well, we're going. Well, next year, I think uh, I'm pretty sure one of the trips we're going to China. Oh, that's good. That's good. We have good. to go see the family. That's good. Excellent. You can practice your Chinese. Oh, wait, you don't speak Chinese. Um, the- Theo can translate for you. Theo is he he's kind of at the point now where he is he is almost fluent. I mean he's there. It's not it's, pretty, so it's incredible to watch. It's really incredible. You mean just as he sh- shifts between English and Chinese? Yeah, and, he, and and now during school he's spending you know so much time with the grandparents after school. Yeah, and they only speak Chinese. So oh, that's good. I, that that's how you learn right there. Yeah, like absolutely. When you're, you're forced, otherwise you're kind of screwed. Do he and and um, Miss Amanda talk behind your back? Yeah, they do for sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh all right well that that's going to just persist uh all right let's bring in our guest we have martin who is on the line from northern california martin what's your um what's your language ability more than one language yes what do you english got? y espanol oh and espanol okay that's good well you know <laughs> a lot of people in the united states speak spanish so that's good it's not like yes. mark who's like oh i'm going to learn how to speak italian and you know some small group of people will be able to talk to him at restaurants, maybe, but not you, Martin. So what brings you to us today? What's happening? Well, first of all, Jill, I would like to thank you and Mark for just taking my call. I'm a big fan of your program. Oh, thank you. For and so I appreciate that. it. So I'm calling, I think like most of your callers that, uh, you know, see how we're doing towards our retirement. But my main reason actually is uh, how to pay for our son's college because we did not plan on this so Mm -hmm. when we actually have three boys but our older two are fine it's the youngest one that what do you uh, mean they're fine they didn't go to college or they yeah no well the oldest one got a golf scholarship wow wait a second hold on a golf scholarship yes holy smokes for half of it and he's able to and and did you borrow or did you cash flow the rest uh and he paid for it himself oh my god i love this kid okay yeah our second one has has gone to the local junior uh, college, and then uh, he's actually saved up enough to go to a local state college. Amazing, here in North California. Okay, that's great. Okay, now here comes our problem child. Problem yeah. child number three. How old is he? So he's eighteen. And so it's happening. Yeah. So yeah, and he's going to yes, a private Christian university. So 
Uh, how, what happened here? Did he get babied? How, how did this happen? Two of these guys come out and they're like, I'm doing the golf scholarship. I'm gritty. The junior college and state and 18 year olds like, oh, I'm the prince. I'm the You're favorite. Right. My parents are exhausted. They won't even notice when I go to when I apply to private school. Like, how did this happen? Well, I, well, that was not the plan. The plan was actually for him to go to the same local junior college mm -hmm. um, for his first two years. But uh, we were talking to uh, he wants to become a pilot. And we talked to the university about their aviation program. Oh, and, boy. Yeah. So one thing led to another. And he's at the university. How much is this costing us? Me, I see. I say okay. us. We figured it's going to cost approximately about one hundred and ten thousand to get them through, but my wife and I plan are to pay for maybe the first two years, which would be about fifty sixty, mm -hmm. and then he would find uh, he would actually do his last two years because after his third year he can start actually being an instructor, mm -hmm. earning some money, and he just plans on staying at home until it becomes a pilot, and so he's going to be making you know pretty good money. But he doesn't want to do like he doesn't want to go to like the Air Force or he doesn't want to do what no. to say to pay for it. No, because he's no. like, no, that means I actually have to give and yeah. a scary <laughs> place. OK, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. All right. Martin, how much do you guys make as uh, in a living? Are you guys both working full time? What's going yes. on? Yeah. So, well, yeah. So I'll be 56 this week. Mm. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. And then my wife will be 50 in November. We make combined uh, about one hundred eighty thousand. OK. And um, are you putting money into retirement right now on that 180? Yes. Okay. And what does the what are, what are your retirement plans look like in terms of the amount of money you've saved already? I have seven hundred eighty thousand in four hundred one k. So seven hundred and thirty of that is in traditional, and fifty thousand is in the Roth four hundred one k. Okay, got it. And are you putting money in the Roth going forward? Yeah, so a couple of years ago, I, I switched all to Roth. Great, perfect. Okay, next the um, your wife's retirement account. We're not putting anything in hers. But okay, she will begin a pension. Oh, tell me more. Wife pension. What does that look like? Yeah, so actually, we don't know. So I tried to find out about it. It's because she's only been working there for a few years, and she's not vested, and she's part time. Uh huh. So until then. They can't give us or any numbers, so I don't plan on it being much. Okay, okay. Will... She's part time, and she's she's not like been there for thirty years or whatever. Yeah, no, she's only okay. been there for so three years. I think we're going to say small year. pension. Okay, small pension. Yeah, but she doesn't plan on retiring for for a while. Okay, she so better she'll... not because you got to pay right. for this damn kid. Right. Um. What about other assets that you guys have? What uh, maybe old IRAs or uh, brokerage account, savings account? What do you have? Uh, and that's about it. I mean, we just have an emergency of about 53000 Okay, great. That's good. I like a nice, healthy emergency reserve. Do you guys own a house? Yes. Yeah. So our well, house is worth about $830,000. Mm -hmm. And we owe about two fourteen at a 2.5% interest. But so we're going to stay in this house, right? Uh, for the time being. I what mean, it, what happens after the time being? Well, if we have our three boys. My mother-in-law lives with us. So as the boys move out on on their own we plan to hopefully downsize can you like you live in california like where do right. you downsize well with the equity in the house as we continue to build the equity i think we can find something smaller and probably pay for it nearby um Near mark yeah. i was in southern california recently and i'm in a i'm not kidding sketchy neighborhood it, like i was like in that neighborhood and i was like mm, i don't think i'd walk my dogs by myself in this neighborhood right and we're driving through there and i say to my friend Hey, what's a house cost here? She says a million dollars. I said, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> like I am like New York's a bargain compared to Southern Cal or all of California, probably. Um, okay. So when you are putting money into your 401k, how much are you putting in there right now? What percentage are you maxing out? What are you doing? Yeah. So right now I'm putting 12%. Okay. And since we get a yearly raise, my plan is to increase that one percentage point. Every year until I reach that 20%. Okay. Do you have any other income that you're going to look at going forward? I mean, not not like this second, but like any other like side hustle income or anything like that? Uh, would you include a pension in that or is that not? Yeah, I'll take a pension. Give me a pension, man. Okay. Well, it depends on when I retire. Okay. So what does it look like? 
Okay, let's say so- you refer- let's say you retire. We have an 18 year old, so we got to get this kid through college, right? Yeah. So we definitely have four years. You got to get to 60. What were you planning on working until 65? Yeah, I would like, well, my goal is to work till maybe I'm about 70 because I do enjoy my job. Okay. Uh, people in my field actually don't make it that long. I would mm-hmm. say between 60 and 65, but at the minimum, 65. All right. What's the pension look like at 65? So at 65, I would get about approximately about 8300 a month. Wow. That's great. So that's it. And what's the 70 number? About 9800 and would you do you have any sort of carve out for um, Social Security or would you be able to keep your full Social Security? Yes, I have my Social Security. OK, what would your Social Security do you know what the numbers are? Yeah. yeah. OK, so yeah. at 67, what Social Security look like? Uh, it'd be about thirty six, forty four. About. OK. And 70. Forty five, fifty five. So in today's dollars, if you had uh Ninety eight hundred and forty five fifty five. Do you think you guys could live on that? Presuming these damn kids are off the payroll. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, Mark. How are we paying for college? We got to pay fifty to sixty thousand dollars for two years. So let's say that we have to pay three thousand dollars a month for these guys to get this kid through school. What are we going to do? Yeah, I was going to ask, what's the monthly cash flow look like right now? Like at the end of each month, do you have you have extra cash after you make all of your retirement contributions and whatnot? Not right now with with us paying for its college. So you're currently, how are you? What are you paying right now? You're yeah. funding it out of what's left over each month. We've been fortunate that we've had a little extra money, but uh, we'll probably start dipping into the emergency fund. No, and no, I don't no. want to deplete that. No, no, no. I think no. you got to pull back. I mean, this is a temporary. This is only for a couple of years. And you're, you're still going to plan on working for a while longer. So I think this is just a temporary pause mm-hmm. on your retirement contributions, which, by the way, you already have almost a million dollars saved. You're going to have a huge pension. So I, I don't think it's going to like derail you in the long run. Yeah, I was thinking this. How would you feel if just for these two years, right? The kids already started college, right? Right. Okay. So right now, what if you said... I'm not going to put this 1% in a, a increase a year. In fact, what you're going to do is what happens if you were to go to say 8% contribution for just this year and next, like the, the, well, I guess it would be like a year and a half, right? Cause we have to get through the first two years. I think if you pull back to 8% contribution on the 401k, that will be enough to get you through these two years. I think. How do you, how do you feel? I mean, Martin, this is a very weird thing to say because I know you're like, what? All right. I want to do is say, but, <laughs> but we got to pay. I don't want you to have, I don't want you to whittle down that emergency reserve fund. No. And, and, and having that pension, knowing that that pension is there, it, it allows you to do this. Absolutely. I mean, otherwise the only other choice you have is to say to the kid, uh, guess yeah. what? Um, we can't afford this and uh, you're going to have to take loans out or you, you and your wife would have to take loans out, which I don't think you want to do right now because those parent loans suck in terms right. of rate. I so agree. I would rather you pull back on your, again. So we have basically, is this semester paid for? No monthly plan, monthly plan. Okay. So what is the monthly amount that you paying? Well, I'll say it depends. Uh, right now it's about 2,300 for the next four months uh-huh and, and then, then I, what and then next semester it, it actually goes up because there's more advanced training that they're going to be doing for the and how much program. is that i think it's going to be around three thousand all right so it's three grand a month that we have to come up with you can do this you can totally do this i think <laughs> i think you got okay so deep breath you can do this right um you totally well, can better. and also the kind of the cool part for you guys is like you can try it and you can see where it goes but you know it is you're making all Roth contribution right now mm-hmm. so it's going to be a big bang to your buck it really is so right. you know what's your income right what's the your your income not your you and your wife but your income right now so i'm about 150 okay and do you, are you entitled to any bonuses no okay you know pulling back that that four percentage points really might do this for you it really might. I mean, that will give you a good chunk of money. It's not going to be everything, but it'll give you some money. And even if you said, oh, I'm just going to go back to 5%, I don't care. Like, I, I just don't think that you should soak up all the liquidity. I mean, 
what do you think you spend forgetting about college, but your actual expenses Xing out the college payment that you're making? What do you spend a month? Probably around nine. Okay. I don't like you having much less than 50 grand in that account. So if you like the first month you say, Oh, 3000, it's fine. I don't know. I, I think that pulling back on the retirement contribution is really what you're going to have to do. And I don't see a lot of ways around it because, you know, look, if you, if you end up having this moment where you're like, Oh my God, I, I, I have to take a loan. I don't know. I feel like that's just such a bad deal for you. Okay. You know, I really mm-hmm. do. And if you had to do a loan, it would nice be nice to do a very small loan. Well, let me ask you this. Here's a question. If you pulled back, can you take a 401k loan? Yes, I can. Mm, Mark, what do you think? I mean, it's probably better rate wise. for Yeah, sure. I think so. I would do that for sure before I would do a parent uh, plus loan. And would that be better than like taking a HELOC also? I don't, I'm worried about the HELOC. The rates are crap right now. You can find out what, find out from, okay, this is what I'm going to um, offer you. Find out what the rate is on the 401k loan. I'm much more willing to use that 401k as the, um, as the asset to borrow against because I feel like that pension gives you a lot of flexibility in retirement. It really does. So okay. that's what I would think about. It stinks, but it's time limited, as Mark said. Now, can I ask you some other like basic questions? Absolutely, Jill. I hear you. Here she comes. You got <laughs> the estate docs done? I do. Oh, good. Well, we do, yes. Good. And um, do you have life insurance? We do, yes. Okay. And is it term or is it something else? It's term, yes. Okay. And can we continue uh, that? Because it's, yeah, because I think we, we have on me for another at least seven or eight years, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I'd keep it if it's cheap, probably. Sure. Yes. Don't jinx yourself. Oh, God. I know, right? <laughs> <At least>. um, <laughs> you'll get through this, damn oh. kid. And this kid's going to be flying your butt all over the world for free. Uh, well, sure they I'll... do get that. They do get they do get that free stuff. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. you know, that kid's going to make a lot of money, so he better take care of his parents. Just remind him of that, okay? Yes, exactly. All right, I, I think that's it. Anything else for us? Well, I think that's it. I appreciate your your help. Uh, we we are wishing you all the best, and um, you know, it just a, it just shows you, Mark. Like two kids, they come out, they do one thing. The third kid, something different. It's uh, throws the whole plan up into arms, man. I yeah yeah. They were looking look. They were like living large. Number two, they're like woo. We can two for retire. two. Two for two, and now that's what happens. Okay, so listen. If you've got a situation like this that Martin and his wife are going through, something where your your plans have changed or life changes those plans for you, give us a holler. Go to JillOnMoney.com, click the Contact Us button, and let us know what's going on. Check that box if you want to join us live. Don't forget to sign up for the free weekly newsletter and check out our YouTube show. It's called Jill on Money, powered by The Compound. All right, you can subscribe to us wherever you get your podcasts. So that's a cool thing. Uh, we drop our episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Mark Talerto is the co-host, executive producer, and king of all things web. We are distributed by Paramount Global. We ask you to put your hands metaphorically on someone's back. Someone needs a little push, a little tap on the back. Be nice, okay? Change your work, change your wealth, change your life. Thank you for listening. We'll talk to you next week. Podcasts.